And I beheld, heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe! 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 To the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to suffer. So four angels sounded already and that was chaos. But the last three angels said whoa, whoa, whoa. Because the last three is going to be worse than the other four. No other mercy. Jesus. Jesus. We pick it up at chapter 9, verse 1. And the fifth angel sounded. In other words, blow the trumpet. Amen. Right? And I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. Now, this was not a literal star. How many knows the book of Revelation is Revelation? Oh, no. yes. <laughs> There's no book in the entire Bible that has more Revelation than Revelation. That's why it is called the book of Revelation. Amen. Amen. Because a lot of times when we read things, is not, for instance, when they tell you about sea or um, multitude, and sometimes it's different things it means. You understand the church? Yes. Here, John said, I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth. No, this was not a literal star, this was an angel. Because there are other passages of scriptures in the Bible that call, calls angels star. And to him, to him, to who? The, uh, to star, the star, which is the angel. So a, a literal star <laughs> is not a man, right? And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Some people say this is a fallen angel. Now remember I told you before, the prophecies of Revelation, sometimes you have prophecies past, present, and future. Amen? But it's for us to break it down in the right context. Now in the book of Job, let's read Job chapter 38 and I think verse 7. Let's listen to what brother Job said. Job chapter 38 verse 7 as I told you sometimes angels are called star and sometimes angels in the Bible are known as men not so yeah. remember in the book of Revelation the Bible said and unto the angel of the church yeah. so and so in other words unto the pastor of such and such a church yeah. Angel here representing the leader of the church. But listen to this. Job chapter 38 verse 7. When the morning stars sang together. Hmm? And all the sons of God shouted for joy. You see that? But we know that angels are not sons. But that's what they used to call them in those days. Because God never addressed an angel as his son. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, 
But unto which of the angels said he at any time, thou art my son? Which one of them? Uh, not Michael, not Gabriel, none of them. Now, who is, who is more important to me? My own son or my servant who works for me? Who is more important? My son. That's all? Yes. Now, if my servant comes to the house, he wants a bottle of water. What do you think he would do? You know, if you're to get it? Why? He would ask me for it. Why? He don't have that kind of privilege. Unless I say, go and help yourself, you know? Make yourself at home. And somebody said that to me a time, make yourself at home. I said, don't say that because I will sit in the living room and put my foot on the center table like I do in my room, in my house. Then you will tell me to take my foot off. Don't tell me make myself at home. <laughs> Amen, somebody. <laughs> but you think that <laughs> Joshua would come to me and say, Daddy, can I go in the fridge for a bottle of water? You think he'll say that? No. no. But there are times when you have people close to you as family, they don't ask many things. Because sometimes my wife cooks some nice food, especially she cooks great food and we well, call it that pump thing they call it or whatever. And I come home, if Sister Paul is in the house, she's gonna eat before me and she's not asking a question. <laughs> Sometimes you have people close like that. <laughs> oh, sometimes you have my wife when they make this, this totally if a little child sitting on the other side across from them on the table, I don't think that child could see the face. <laughs> no talk about it, brother, steady come worse again. Wow! So the star here represents an angel. Some people say it's a fallen angel. But let's go back again and look. John said, I saw a star as it fall from heaven. Remember, Lucifer already was already cast out and a third part of the angel with him. Jesus also said, I saw what Jesus said? I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. But there are some scholars that say because of the word fall, they are saying it's a fallen angel, one of the evil angels. But why would God give one of the evil angels a key? to the battle of the spirit. When God has some angels reserved in chains, the Bible says God locked them up in chains, reserved unto everlasting judgment. Yes. There are some demons in hell, they are worse than the devil. Yes, sir. So God had to put them in chains because these are the angels that went in unto the daughters of men, have children with them, and the Bible said they were giants that were born in those days. Now, some people don't believe that, but that is the Bible. And that is true. Some people say spirit cannot bring forth. That is true. But remember, these angels, before they went into the daughters of men, of, of men they had celestial bodies. Now, celestial bodies are able to be transformed from celestial to perfect terrestrial a terrestrial body is a earthly body the bible said as abraham sat at his tent's door in the plains of mamre three angels visited him that's what the bible said but two of them were angels one was god so they transformed themselves into perfect terrestrial body and they had lunch with Abraham. Amen, somebody. 
And so the Bible said, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, their own natural habitat, they came out eh, from the spirit man and turned themselves into ordinary human beings. Remember Jesus himself, the Bible said, and the word, in order for, for the world to dwell among us, the world had to live in a fleshly body. Yeah. And the fleshly body was Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's why Jesus was one with the world. God could not come here in his glory and in his splendor because the earth cannot stand him. It's too much glory, too much splendor. His very presence on Mount Sinai, the Bible said the mountain quaked and trembled. So God could not come here in his glory God had to create a body for him to come here. And the body God created was Jesus. And he lived in Jesus. It was a, Jesus was 100% man, 100% God. Amen. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said that in the book of Hebrews, it said, for verily he took not upon him the nature of angels, which is celestial body. But he took upon him the seed of Abraham, which is terrestrial body. Amen, somebody. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Come on, somebody give the Lord a round of applause. <laughs> Glory to God. Hmm. So why would God give a key to a devil? <laughs> to open the back of the screen? Don't you think he's going to go there and try to free all those yeah. wicked ones there in, the, in hell? Come on, man. And why, how, do you believe a, 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 a demon today, one of the fallen angels, have access to heaven? They can go to heaven? Never. I heard one pastor say one time, the reason why God is going to create a new heaven and a new earth, new earth is because the first heaven, sin entered the first heaven. That's what he said. No sin can enter there. No sin cannot enter heaven. Before the devil entered heaven, he said, I will ascend up. It simply means he was below. So he said, I will ascend up to the heights. And I will establish my throne above the stars of God. In other words, I'm going higher than God. So I will be the most high and I will look down upon him who created me. Could you imagine? The God that created this what this fellow. All of a sudden he's going above God. All because this man was in the presence of a holy God day and night. And the Bible says you walk upon the stones of fire. He was in the awesome presence of God. And sometimes it makes me stop, wonder, and consider how could a perfect beauty like that try to get in his heart. Created perfect in beauty and in wisdom. And the Bible tells us, you know, um, let's read something in Isaiah. Chapter 14. Somebody said, you, you're not afraid to talk about the devil? One day I was preaching and I talked about the devil and he gave me a pain I couldn't continue to preach. Uh, he's a fool, you see. <laughs> devil don't have no power to do me anything. Amen. Amen. The only power the devil has is the power that we give to him. Yes. When we allow him to do what he wants. But who God gave the power to? What Jesus said, I gave you power over all the power or the ability of the enemy. And what else he said after that? Nothing. Nothing. Huh? Shall by any means hurt you. As I said to you last week, somebody said, they saw them to the side and they were crying, crying. They asked, Mr. Satan, what happened to you? He said, these Christian people just tell too much lie at me. Everything is me, everything is me. 
Kasih baju sih. That's with Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? Oh Lucifer. You know what the word Lucifer means? Star. Huh? Star of the morning. That's how beautiful he was. You mean the most beautiful angel in heaven corrupt himself? Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. What did I say? Star of the morning? Yeah. Son of the morning, sorry. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend. See what the word said? What? What the word said? I will ascend. Say ascend. What ascend means? To go up. It simply means he was not in heaven. God gave him his own world. God gave him his own domain for him to dwell. But he figured what God gave him, that was not enough. God even gave this man angels to watch him, uh, to, to be with him. Had his own world. But he said, this is not good enough for me. I don't go above God. And he influenced those angels, every one of them. Let me tell you something, church. You have to be careful because when someone has a familiar spirit, Eh? and seducing spirit, you better be careful. Because sometimes a seducing spirit, you think that is God. And it's not God at all, you know. It's a thin line between love and hate. And it's a thin line between the real spirit and the foul spirit. It's a thin line between the supernatural and the miraculous. If you don't know the difference. Verse 13 again. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. Mm -hmm. Because the man had access where he can go anytime, you know. I will exalt my throne. Uh -huh. Above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will go up higher above the heights, higher than the clouds. You see, there are three heavens, you know. Mm -hmm. this, this heaven here in the firmament, there is another heaven, and there is the third heaven where God dwells. You remember what Solomon prayed? He said, O oh, heaven of heavens. And I believe these scientists, they're making what they call what, telescope, microscope, whatever, like, to see if they can see in heaven, to see if they are in heaven. <laughs> Nothing will be able to reach there. You get blind before you can see anything. Verse 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. In other words, I am going to be God. And God will be under me. Stupid. When are you going to establish this throne above the stars? I show that the man can't even make a throne. I show that they can't even build a throne. One man said one time, the devil said to God, I can make man just like you. Shape him, form him, just like you. Give him eyes, hands, everything just like you. But the only thing I cannot do is breathe the breath of life in him. That's the only thing you have over me. God said, I have more than that, way more than that. God said, you can't make man like me. You cannot make man. So the devil said, you want me to prove it to you I can't make man? The devil went after the dirt to create man just like God. God said, no. Get your own dirt. That's my dirt. You never say, well, if you don't give me the dirt, how make man? That's how you can't even make dirt. You make man. <laughs> 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 oh, 
or what a God we serve. Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Watch this. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof? That opened not the house of his prisoners? There will be a time the great judgment morning when God present this man Lucifer before us and we're going to see him for that this. And you know what people are going to say? Mm. That day that makes so much havoc in the world yeah. he's going to look so innocent like he, like he can't kill a fly. <laughs> but we can let the devil himself. <laughs> The Bible says he opened the, the doors to his prisoners. When the devil locked them up, he threw the key away. Even when people like Abraham and, and David and all those guys, the saints of God, when they died, they didn't go to heaven, but they were held bound against the will. Because of Adam's sin, paradise went down below. The devil could not do anything with them, but they could not get out from paradise where they were. But thank God, the Bible says, who opened prison doors? Who opened the prison doors? Who opened the prison doors? You're talking like you don't even know. The devil opened the doors not to his prisoners, locked them up and threw the key away. But Jesus don't look for the key. Because Jesus has a master key that can open any door. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Any house door, any prison door, any jail door, any door. And now, when he took back the authority that the devil stole from Adam, he went up, presented the blood before the mercy seat, made duplicates, and he came back. And he don't just give us any ordinary key, you know. Master key he gave us. Oh, no. He said to Peter, Behold, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom. And whatsoever you open on earth shall be opened in heaven. And whatsoever you lock on earth shall be locked in heaven. Oh my God. I can't go to that part now because some people are hearing a man praying this morning and binding them like crazy. Satan, I bind you. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of this I bind you. Spirit of that I bind you. Hey, not even Jesus bind the devil while he was here. The devil cannot be bound. The Bible says Satan will be bound a thousand years, but that's not now. When we go to heaven, we're going for a thousand years. After the thousand years, God sent out the new Jerusalem. For that thousand years, the devil will be bound. Now when we came, but when we come down here, then the devil will let loose and he's going to come in the city to fight. What a fool. What a fool. He has already lost the battle. If the devil knows he could repent today, God will forgive him, he will repent. But there are people that will never repent. I'm serious, you know. We're going to see some things. So he wants to be like God. You can't be like God. So would God trust somebody like that to give the key to the battle of the spirit? Mm -hmm. I don't believe so. Verse 2 of Revelation chapter 9. You following me, church? Yes. All right. Watch this. And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose a smoke out of the pit. I believe God said, listen, this is what I want you to do. Just open the pit. 
And I wanted to let certain things out, and that's it. Let me read again, verse 2. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. That was those darkness. Yes. There came out of the smoke locust. Say locust. Now some people say these are fallen angels too in heaven. The locusts represent fallen angels, bad angels. Now I don't believe that. I'll tell you my reason for saying that. Upon the earth. And unto them was given what? Power. As the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth. But watch this, church. Watch this last week. Last week, we read in chapter 8 and verse 7. You have it? It said, the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up so there was no grass on the earth but here now huh? here in chapter 9 of verse 4 it said and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass. So somewhere between where the second angel sounded up to the fourth angel, somehow the grass grew back. Are you seeing that church? Remember, yeah. all was brought up. But the Bible is telling me, the God is saying, no, don't hurt the grass. Huh? We read verse 4 again. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Hmm? And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months, my Lord. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion, when he striketh a man. Uh -huh. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Somebody will come and say, hey, take the sword, cut my head off. You cut his head off. No. The body's still moving, the head's still talking. Because the Bible said death will flee from them. Oh God, why you want to be here for them kind of thing? Verse 7, and the shapes of the locusts. I, I, you know, next time I'll try and see if I can make some video and put it on the screen. And the shape of the locusts were like unto horses. Say horses. horses. So these locusts look like horses, right? Mm -hmm. Prepared unto battle. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold. And their faces were as the faces of men. Just, just imagine the picture. And they had hair. Huh? 
not like men. Well, women are different here than men, no? Just simply saying, men are the same texture of hair, just like women, some men. Just simply saying, the hair were long. Yeah, mm, that's all. women, ex it's expecting for women to have long hair. The Bible says if a woman is shaven, it's a shame to her. Hello? Yeah. And if a man has long hair, it's a shame to him. And their teeth were as the teeth of Light. mighty God. And they had breastplates, and it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. Now, if this was an angel, angel don't have wings. Amen. Amen. So how could it be a fallen angel? Angels don't have wings. The only set of angels that have wings is the Bible talk about cherubims and seraphims. And there are another set of angels in heaven that have six wings, the Bible says. With two they cover their feet, two they cover their faces, and with two they fly. So you can't see the face, you can't see the feet, you only see wings. Those are some creatures that God has there in heaven. So I believe this was an angel God sent. God gave him. God tells him what to do. These ain't easy locusts. They ain't come to eat your crop. They come to torment men. Verse 10. And they had tails like unto scorpions. Huh? And there were things in their tails. And their power was to hurt men. How many months? Five. Jesus. And they had a king over them. <laughs> Which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Whose name is whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue had his name Apollyon. Means destruction or, dis or destroyer. Amen, church. Watch this. One war is past. Jesus, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. You see problems? In church? You see problems? One woe is past. Let's, let's see if we can. Oh, it's one attack already. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what? We will stop here. We we'll stop. We can give you next time. Okay? I will see you next time. One more is passed. Could you imagine? No cuss. Sting in you. Some of them biting you, they have teeth like lions. And if they give you a headbutt, they have crowns on their head. Could you imagine? They have wings to fly. Jesus. I don't want to be here. Us to 
what the world says. Otherwise, we'll fall into this trap. But I want when the trumpet sound, I want to hear that trumpet. Everybody not gonna hear it, you know. The ones who are going never hear it. The dead will hear. Those who are dead in Christ, they'll hear it. And the Bible said the dead in Christ shall rise first. But they're not going to Jesus first, you know. They will rise first because they underneath. When they rise, they come on top of the earth, on top of the earth, and then we all will be caught up, the Bible said, together to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. You know what the word ever means? Huh? Forever means forever. We ain't coming back. Hallelujah.